Hi everyone, good evening. I have joined you once again for the 10 weeks of Yogtahar project. And uh, Thursday is today, which means that today we will upload the progress form in week 9. So once I finish the live, what I am going to do is uh, upload the progress form in my Instagram ka jo bio. You can go and progress form. Bhar sakte A lot of new people have joined the project. Um, so let me tell you that this progress form is every week you are supposed to fill them up. Uh, there are a few participants who have filled it once and then they have not filled it up and they feel that this is uh, you know somewhere I think it, uh, they, they do not realize that you're going, you need to fill the progress form week by week every week. So in any case the progress form is going to be up uh, today evening as soon as I finish the live and it is going to be up till Saturday. So everyone who is in the project, no matter which phase, which week, fill up the progress form. It is also going to be there in my Instagram story. So uh, that is it. And we are in week nine. This is the last day of week nine. And which means Kikal say we are in the last week of the project. Can you believe that we are going to start week 10 from tomorrow? And it's going to be the last week of this project. And the project is going to, you know, going to come to an end in just one week time. Um, so great. So um, we are in phase three. The discussion is about phase three and the discussion is about uh, reintroducing the foods that we had in phase one or phase two mein restrict karke rakha tha abhi tak. Um, in the last few sessions we have discussed how we can reintroduce gluten. How gluten ko kaise wapas la sakte hain? What is the right quality? Uh, what is the right timing to have your paranthas and the pao and the fried puris and the dal bati churmas and all of those things? Uh, you know, you don't have to give them up on you don't have to give them uh, up on like you know entirely pura ka pura unko aapko abandon nahi karna hai so what is the right way of doing these things this is what we have already discussed in the past uh, people who haven't watched that video aap log instagram page pe ja ke dekh sakte hain those videos are pretty much there so you can always go back and check those videos and yesterday of course we discussed uh, how we can bring back milk and paneer. So again, you know, what is the right way for people who live in India and for people who live outside India. So what is the food that we are going to discuss today? We are going to discuss about red meat. Red meat, as uh, you know, in phase 1 or phase 2, we have restricted And now since we are in phase 3, we can bring this back. Um, having said that, uh, red meat ke liye, I'll, I'll still, you know, give you a word of caution. It may not um, be uh, necessary for everybody to reintroduce red meat. Firstly, it's only for non-vegetarians. The discussion, aaj ka jo discussion hai, wo sirf non-vegetarians ke liye hai. So that goes without saying. Agar aap, uh, you know, a vegetarian hai, then you don't have to bother yourself. Uh, with eating any kind of meat whether red or white and this again I have discussed in the past and I'm going to discuss protein intake again in week 10 but for now just know ki agar aap vegetarian hai then you really don't have to bother about eating eggs or chicken or any kind of meat uh, until and unless you really want to have I mean agar aapko bohut shock hai aur aapko bohut pasand hai aur aap khana chahate hai then that's a completely different story but otherwise aap uh, you don't have to force yourself to eat any kind of non-veg or eggs or poultry or meat uh, because you are vegetarian and because you think that you lack protein because of the vegetarian diet. Uh, so red meat is something uh, that uh, firstly we need to understand that phase 1 or phase 2 we have restricted So we were restricting red meat in phase 1 and phase 2 because Naturally, red meat is pro-inflammatory in nature, which means that red meat ka jo consumption hai, uh, with a lot of research, it has been shown that it is linked to inflammation. So, if you are one of those who have an autoimmune disease, autoimmune disease hai. what are autoimmune diseases? Autoimmune diseases are diseases like Hashimoto's or diseases like psoriasis, sarcoidosis, all of these are autoimmune diseases. Agar aapko kisi bhi tarah ka autoimmune disease hai, because autoimmune diseases are particularly high on inflammation, then you might not want to add uh, red meat in phase 3 as well. 
uh, again if you are suffering from any kind of chronic disease it could be something related to your gut health as well koi kisi bhi tarah ka disease jo aapke gut se related hai then you might not want to add red meat in phase 3 as well because uh, red meat jaisa main aapko bata rahi hu by by its complete natural nature it is uh, inflammatory so if you are dealing with a disease jo already inflammation ke taraf hai jo already uh, aapke body ko inflamed uh, रखने की टेंडेंसी में रखता है देन इट इज बेटर दैट वी डू नॉट कंज्यूम रेड मीट इन फेज थ्री इफ यू आर अ वेरी यू नो पक्का नॉन वेजिटेरियन एंड यू रियली वॉन्ट टू हैव द रेड मीट देन मे बी यू कैन गो अ हैड यू नो बट द फ्रीक्वेंसी शुड बी क्वाइट लेस लाइक मे बी लाइक वंस इन अ मंथ और वंस इन टू मंथ्स सो दैट इज यू नो फॉर पीपल हु आर डीलिंग विथ सर्टन वेरी क्रॉनिक डिजीजेज एंड आई एम श्योर जो ये डिजीजेस से डील करते हैं दे नो हु दे आर बिकॉज आई एम श्योर दे मस्ट हैव बीन टोल्ड बाई देर डॉक्टर्स अबाउट इन्फ्लेमेशन एंड स्टफ सो दे रिकोगनाइज देयर कंडीशन एंड देर फॉर दे रिकोगनाइज हु दे आर एंड दिस इज स्पेसिफिकली फॉर देम द अदर सेंट ऑफ पीपल जिनको किसी तरह की कोई डिजीज नहीं है कोई क्रॉनिक सिम्टम्स नहीं है बट यू आर इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट ओनली फॉर से अ फीलिंग गुड फैक्टर और टू लूज वेट or to just sleep better or just a few things like just feeling bloated or just you know very minor discomforts they can very well add red meat now in phase 3 uh, but again as i have always been insisting that adding any food back it's all about the right quality and the right timing and the right frequency so what is the right quality when it comes to red meat firstly जितने भी मीट हैं सब में एंटीबायोटिक और हार्मोन्स आजकल का जो इंडस्ट्री मीट इंडस्ट्री है दे आर दिस लॉर्ड ऑफ एंटीबायोटिक्स एंड हार्मोन्स व्हिच आर यूज्ड इन द मीट इंडस्ट्री व्हिच इज नॉट ओनली लिमिटेड टू रेड मीट बट आल्सो टू व्हाइट मीट सो यू हैव टू बी वेरी पर्टिकुलर अबाउट द प्लेस जहां से आप खरीद रहे हैं अगर आप इंडिया में खरीद रहे हैं देन योर बेस्ट बेट इज टू गो एंड बाय इट फ्रॉम अ पर्सन जो फ्रेश उसको बेच रहा है सो यू नो हुज गिविंग यू द फ्रेश कट्स you know the person aapki locality mein hai neighborhood mein hai you know the person you chat with him you know where he gets his things from it becomes much easier to kind of understand and access the you know correct uh, source and have the right quality if you are somebody who's uh, living outside india then all you got to do is check the labels look for antibiotic free hormone free uh, those kind of labels you have to check uh, before you you know actually go and buy the meat um yesterday when i was talking about dairy a lot of people asked me what about ant uh, antibiotics and hormones in dairy but antibiotics and hormones is not a problem only in dairy a problem meat industry mein bhi hai but very often we overlook uh, when it comes to meat kyunki hamare सर के ऊपर इतना ज्यादा प्रोटीन ऑब्सेशन है इतना ज्यादा हमें प्रोटीन के बारे में बताया गया है दैट ऑल दैट वी सी व्हेन इट कम्स टू मीट इज प्रोटीन इट्स ओनली व्हेन इट कम्स टू डेरी वी आर वेरी मच अलर्ट अबाउट एंटीबायोटिक्स एंड हार्मोन्स बट द मोमेंट एनी एनी पर्सन टॉक्स अबाउट मीट ऑल दे सी इज प्रोटीन ऑल दे सी इज मसल टोनिंग ऑल दे सी इज अ गुड टाइट टोन बॉडी irrespective of the fact ki wo meat bana kaise hai what is the quality how are we procuring it is it really required am i right really working out that hard that i really need to stuff myself with so much protein anyways we are going to talk about all these who high protein diets again in week 10 as i said why it's just an illusion and there is no scientific fact about it it's there in my book as well and i have also spoken about it in the past Uh, a lot of participants in the project are actually feeling good because they have stopped stuffing themselves with soya paneer tofu chicken eggs and all of those things so number one thing is about how you are getting your red meat the correct quality is very important kyunki jab ye antibiotics aap के मीट के थ्रू आपके बॉडी में जाता है दीज एंटीबायोटिक्स एक्चुअली दे प्रमोट ओबीसिटी आई हैव डन अ सेपरेट लाइव वीडियो ऑन एंटीबायोटिक्स एंड आई हैव टोल्ड एक्चुअली हाउ एंटीबायोटिक्स आर एक्चुअली बैड फॉर आर हेल्थ हाउ इट प्रमोट्स ओबीसिटी सो इन द सेम वे आप जब ये मीट के जरिए एंटीबायोटिक्स अपने बॉडी में अपने सिस्टम में इंट्रोड्यूस करते हैं इट्स गोइंग टू डू द सेम थिंग ऑल इट्स गोइंग टू डू इज प्रमोट ओबीसिटी एंड नॉट ओनली ओबीसिटी बट लॉर्ड ऑफ अदर क्रॉनिक इन्फ्लुएंस इश्यूज जिसके वजह से हम ऐसा लगता है कि अरे ये सब कुछ ठीक है पर बेली फैट नहीं जा रहा है 
या फिर हमें ऐसा लगता है कि इतनी कोशिश करने के बाद भी वेइंग स्केल पे तो कुछ नहीं हो रहा है सो ऑल दोस काइंड ऑफ स्टब एंड फैट इज ऑल देयर बिकॉज ऑफ इन्फ्लेमेशन एंड इफ यू ईट मीट विच हैज एंटीबायोटिक्स देन वॉट यूर डूइंग इज जस्ट प्रमोटिंग इन्फ्लेमेशन इन योर बॉडी which is going to show up in various ways not only in terms of stubborn fat but also in terms of acne and lot of other chronic symptoms a lot of participants if you have re- if you're reading the reviews if you are whatever we are posting on the page or whatever we are even putting out on our stories if you see 99% of them have said that the constant belly fat the stubborn fat not even belly fat but the stubborn fat which was always there since years that has suddenly disappeared in the last few weeks uh just you know few weeks after the project and it's simply because that in tbbd the first thing that we do is we clear off inflammation so try to know that inflammation is something that you really need to keep yourself away from if you want to look good if you want to feel good and if you want to stay healthy so uh when it comes to red meat as i said you have to buy the right, right quality the second point is processed and unprocessed प्रोसेस्ड रेड मीट किस फॉर्म में मिलता है वॉट डू वी मीन बाई प्रोसेस फर्स्टली रेड मीट होता क्या है लेट अस जस्ट ब्रिंग दैट आउट मे बी देर फ्यू वेजिटेरियंस हेयर सो रेड मीट इज बेसिकली पॉक बीफ लैम मटन दीज आर ऑल रेड मीट राइट सो प्रोसेस्ड में क्या होता है वॉट इज अ प्रोसेस्ड रेड मीट प्रोसेस्ड आर बेसिकली थिंग्स लाइक बेकन हैम सलामी हॉट डॉग्स दीज आर ऑल प्रोसेस्ड वर्जन्स विच यू विल प्रोबेबली सिट on a very you know swanky nice store and you know order it and then you will have these are all processed products so if you really as i said want to really have with the red meat uh then as i said firstly go out there and buy the fresh cuts so that you know that these are like the uh, the you know not the industrialized ones which have been you know in uh, pushed a lot of antibiotics and hormones and the second thing is just make nice curries and soups and things out of it don't have these kind of processed versions unprocessed kya hota hai jaise aapne mutton curry banaya that's a unprocessed way of uh, using consuming the red meat uh, aapne mutton biryani banaya आपने पाया बनाया था विच इज मटन पाया का सूप सो दैट इज देयर देन शोरबा इज देयर सो ऑल ऑफ दीज आर अनप्रोसेस्ड रेसिपीज वेज ऑफ यूजिंग द रेड मीट तो अगर आप रेड मीट खाना चाहते हैं सो दीज आर द बेस्ट वेज ऑफ यूजिंग दैम ऑलवेज हैव दैम विद सम काइंड ऑफ काब्स इन टी बी बी डी वी मोर ऑफन वॉन्ट टू हैव मोर ऑफ मिलिट्स Uh, of course gluten is now there so we are going to have it like once a week or twice a week as i explained uh, in the previous sessions but you know keep your millets there don't don't uh, send them off just because we are in phase 3 so with any of your millet rotis with any of your millet rice you can even use millet rice to make a mutton biryani so you can make you can uh, you know use little millet for example and little millet se aap mutton biryani bhi bana sakte hain now about the timings what about the timing so if you're having something like say a uh, lal mas curry uh, or uh, say a rogan josh or say uh, a, a lamb uh, curry with some roti or a biryani as i said then these all make for a great uh, lunch option so don't have these for dinner uh, you know in ayurveda it it is believed that uh, meat is very hard to digest uh scientifically any kind of non veg food doesn't have fiber so anything which doesn't have fiber when we say that it's also hard to digest it makes sense that you only keep them during the lunch hours which is 11 am to 1 pm because that is the time when your met- body's metabolism is at its peak and your body will be able to digest you know no matter how heavy or wholesome or substantial your meal is so that is number 1 number 2 uh ayurveda also believes that meat becomes very healthy if you have it in the form of a soup to jab aap mutton paya ka soup lete hain ya shorba lete hain ya fir even in the form of a khichdi like in the east uh in the bengal orissa ye sab jagah par mutton ka khichdi banta hai instead of a biryani they are quite uh you know uh, eager on uh, having khichdi uh so a biryani is more of a north thing so if you are having say a mutton khichdi or a soup or in the form of a soup so something which is like more of a you know a porridge consistency consistency jo thoda porridge consistency ki taraf hai then they become you know lighter to digest because a lot of cooking has already happened and then these are the meals that you can have in the evening like for dinner 
So if you really want to have these kind of things for dinner, uh, basically red meat for dinner, then you've got to like make it in either a soup version or a khichdi version. So um, this is about red meat. To summarize, if you're still dealing, uh, you know, with uh, with with a disease or with any kind of disorder, which is linked with inflammation, for example, it can be autoimmune, it can it can be cancer. Um, it can be any any kind of like a Crohn's disease, anything which is related to your gut, then it's better that you do not introduce red meat in phase three as well. And if you are really keen on having it just because you love the taste of it, then you can manage the frequency to say once a month and see how you, uh, you know, how it suits you. And then you can take a decision from there on. If you are not somebody who is dealing with any kind of a very serious disorder or a chronic disorder, but just minor discomforts like a, um, a bloating or minor refluxes, which I'm sure must have, you know, just disappeared by now if you are in phase three, because a lot of these chronic symptoms, a lot of these discomforts, which um, participants have disappeared by the time they reached phase two. So now we are in phase 3, so if all this is and what you were just looking at was weight loss or inch loss, then you can add red meat in your plan uh, in phase 3. But as I said, you need to be uh, very mindful about the quality. Uh, see that you don't take anything which, has, uh, which is very industrialized. Uh, number 2, not in the processed versions, so not those hot dogs and stuff. And uh, number three, don't take them, you know, in the form of very heavy meals uh, towards the end of the day, uh, not for dinner. Um, uh, you know, the biryanis and all are better if you have it for lunch. Uh, so that keeping these things in mind, uh, it will be a smooth sale for you, I can assure you. Because and of course, you also need to in, uh, ensure that you have red meat only once a week. That is an important point that I forgot to mention. So once a week, hi, dosto, it's not that if we have red meat hum introduced kar diye hai, phase 3, we will eat it a lot of times. We do not want to do that. Because as I have told you, how much we take uh, organic, how much we take label, how much we take the processed uh, version of red meat, then also red meat by itself inherently has a pro-inflammatory profile and that is going to create problems for you in the long run. Uh, immediately, you will not know because you have cleansed your body in the TBBD in the last two phases. So obviously, it's a very nice, clean, pure slate uh, for the body right now. So now, instantly, you will not realize hoga. But if you keep overdoing this, say for next two, three months, uh, you know, you will, you will start to, you know, see the symptoms. So uh, red meat aap khayenge, toh bhi it has to be only once a week and din mein sirf ek bar. So don't overdo it in the sense that you have it for lunch and dinner both, ya fir breakfast and lunch, any of these things, no. Just ensure that you have it only once a day and once a week. So that is, you know, the right way of introducing uh, red meat. And I'm going to take a few questions. A lot of them have come on the screen. I'll try to scroll and, uh, you know, find it. But I'll just take the ones which have, you know, been collected here in the question bank. Okay, so uh, uh, processed meat. Yes, processed meat. So Arshia is asking that uh, kebabs also come in the, uh, the frozen kebabs. Uh, also come in the category of processed meats. Yes, of course, our shed does. So the best thing would be that you just mince them, uh, make a kebab by yourself, or you, you know, get somebody who makes these kind of, um, you know, minced kebabs and give you fresh, but of course not the frozen ones. Um, the other is, uh, uh, I tried L-glutamine with water and it had a weird taste. How else can I have L-glutamine? This is a question by Kavita Singh. So uh, Kavita, if uh, I mean, I don't know how to answer this. L-glutamine has a few flavors as well. So maybe you can just change the flavor. But the best way to have L-glutamine is to have it with water. That is the way it is had. The other way you can have it is, of course, if you want to mix it with your uh, whey uh, protein. So if you are having isolate, whey isolate, to usi mein aap L-glutamine ko mix kar sakte hai and the flavor is just going to get masked up because the isolate ka jo quantity hai, that is much higher than the L-glutamine which you will put. Uh, so obviously the L-glutamine flavor is not going to stand out when you mix it with your whey. So that is the answer. There were a few questions. One was by Anjali. I don't know if I can find them here now. Uh, 
Okay, so Anjali is asking, I have a wedding in my family next week. Can I start with phase three after four weeks of phase two or what do you suggest? I mean, if you are in phase two, continue phase two. If you phase three, mein chuke hai, then there's nothing to worry because then you would be able to eat everything in the, uh, in the wedding, in the family. So you don't have to wait for four weeks. I, I mean, um, phase three is all inclusive of everything Anjali so you don't have to wait to transit into phase 3 if you have finished your phase 2 you can straight away hop into phase 3 and if there's a wedding in the family you can very much be in phase 3 because phase 3 jo hai, wo ek lifelong phase hai. phase 3 is not about uh, you know this is what is the thing you know uh, it is not about following a diet weddings hai, uh, travel hoga, festival a jayega, these things will continue and you will be in phase 3 all through the life because as I'm saying phase 3 is a lifelong phase. So please read this book uh, chapter 7. You will read the TBBD guidelines which I'm going to take in the next week in the uh, week 10 and then you will understand how you can be through all the weddings, travels, festivals, illness, stresses, uh, social visits, all of these things will be there they are not going to disappear so you have to be you, you have to be in the lifestyle and you know still be there in that ecosystem you cannot separate yourself from the ecosystem permanently and then do a diet so you know uh, there is no problem for you at all if you are in phase three you can very much be in the wedding and uh, enjoy everything because any which ways there's nothing that we restrict in phase three it's all inclusive um, is meat from normal organic means good so meat from normal organic means good I mean what she I guess wants to ask is that is organic meat good so organic meat is good but you also have to be mindful of the label because a lot of things get sold um, I don't know how much I'll be appreciated for this but a lot of things get sold by the label organic when it's not actually organic so, आपका जो uh, neighborhood में जो बंदा आपको uh, uh, meat uh, fresh cuts of meat sell कर रहा है, he might not be able to understand the paperwork in a way that he can add the organic label on his product, but his meat could actually be chemical free versus any other product which is labeled as organic but is falsely labeled. So try to understand the difference. Not everything that is labeled organic is truly labeled organic. So if, as I said, if you are in India, it's better that you go ahead and buy it from a person you know, which would be your locality, like your neighborhood, your, um, you know, somebody you know, your, your, probably your parents know. Because it's like that when we are in the same house, in the same locality, we are living so you don't know your parents shopkeepers ko jante hai, and they know where they get their products from, they hear it from their neighbors, they hear it from their friends. So it's pretty much transparent. Just don't believe a label just because it's in a very posh store and just because it's read uh, as a certain thing, the label says so. Uh, when you are living outside India, as I said, the game changes because outside, when you're anywhere outside India, you don't have this... Uh, you know pleasure or privilege of just going out there and buying things from a neighborhood store and you have to rely on a label but outside again the labeling is much more stringent which uh, you know discounts the chances of picking up something which is falsely labeled so this is a very elaborate topic that you're asking and there's much more to talk about it but as I said in the beginning uh, don't go by labels, go by, uh, you know, the things that I have mentioned, go by, in India, we do run still, we still run and we still buy things more out of trust than out of labels. And I think uh, I've made myself pretty clear on that. Okay, uh, so somebody is asking that uh, somebody is in phase one and is it mandatory to have porridge uh, in breakfast or can we have millet idlis or dosa? So, uh, you know, firstly, there's nothing which is mandatory in TBBD. Uh, these are just uh, recommendations and why these recommendations are given is also explained in the book. Uh, because I never believe in giving recommendations just by saying, aisa kar lo or aisa ho jayega. I always want to give out explanations. And idlis and dosas are again fermented dishes. Uh, ferment karke banaya jata hai inko. And anything which is fermented is something that we avoid in phase one. 
uh, in phase one we do not eat uh, anything which is fermented not even idli dosa but even curd pickle uh, vinegar none of these fermented foods are a part uh, of phase one simply because of the goal of phase one the nature of phase one and why it is not there in phase one is also explained in the book uh, i have dedicated a separate section on why we do not include fermented foods in phase one and why you should first do a phase one and only then include fermented foods in phase two so phase two may aap jayenge jab which is just uh, phase one ke do hafto baad hi aap chale jayenge so once you go to phase two then you know uh, you will be able to include all the idlis and dosas and all the other fermented foods so if you want to know what is the reason for that i will say that please refer to the book in chapter 5 i have mentioned the reason ki kyun hai aisa ki hum dahi aur ye sari cheeze phase 1 mein nahi khate hain but phase 2 mein khate hain so for that i'll say that you know go there and check the book okay so if there are any more questions guys i think i can just answer them in the comments for you and uh, okay so again there's this one question i'll take um, so uh, sapshanip how long can i take trifla after phase 2 um please check the frequently asked questions of chapter 5 it's given very very clearly um so you know you can go ahead and check that because i have also given clear instructions in the faqs of chapter 5 of not only for trifla but all the other three herbs so please go there and check that um also somebody is asking well, how long can i take glutamine and zinc so glutamine and zinc is not something that i can say that aap itne samay ke liye lo aur itne samay ke liye mat lo because it really depends on a person's personal profile uh, you know why are you taking glutamine first we need to understand that um uh, tbbd mein glutamine and zinc were never mandatory supplements to have अगर आपने चूज किया है इफ यू हैव चोजन टू इंक्लूड दम इन योर प्लान देर हैज टू बी सम रीजन वाई यू हैव चोजन टू इंक्लूड दैम सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन योर रीजन आई कैन टेल यू दैट ओके यू कंटिन्यू दिस फॉर दिस लॉन्ग ओके यू डोंट कंटिन्यू फॉर दिस लॉन्ग सो दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी पर्सनल क्वेश्चन विच बिकम्स डिफिकल्ट टू जस्ट गो ऑन टू सजेस्ट uh but any uh, know that any of these supplements like uh, l glutamine or zinc these are dietary supplements these are not supplements which you need a doctor's prescription to buy you can buy them just off the shelf and when you're buying any such su supplement which is off the shelf like at least for zinc and l glutamine i can say that you can take them for 6 months at least if you really want if you feel that jo bhi reason ke liye aapne liya hai jo bhi reason ke liye aapne usko include kiya hai apne plan mein and uh, in that sense it is working for you it is benefiting you then you can continue for the next 6 months safely uh, there is no harmful uh, side effects associated with it okay thank you so much and i'll meet you tomorrow so tomorrow i'm going to take up the uh, fourth um, category of food that we had avoided for the last 8 uh, uh, weeks and after that we are going to jump into the lifetime guidelines just को करके आपको समझ आएगा कि कैसे आप जो टीबीबीडी है उसको आप कैसे एक लाइफस्टाइल प्लान बना सकते हैं चाहे वेडिंग्स हो फेस्टिवल्स हो कुछ भी हो हाउ आर यू गोइंग कंटिन्यू दिस जर्नी फॉर द लाइफ टाइम दिस इज समथिंग दैट वी टू टेक अप इन दी टीबीबीडी लाइफटाइम गाइडलाइंस व्हिच इज आल्सो एनी वेज गिवन देयर इन द बुक सो इफ यू जस्ट वॉन्ट टू ब्रश दैट अप इफ यू जस्ट वॉन्ट टू रीड द बुक बिफोर वी स्टार्ट दिस सो दैट यू कैन हैव योर सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चन रेडी देन दैट्स अ गुड आइडिया टू डू दैट थैंक यू सो मच